understand compression, you need to know what exactly the parameters of compressor do to affect the waveform. Though compressors vary widely in controllable parameters, the basics all come down to the same common set, threshold, ratio, attack, release, and makeup gain. There are a million metaphors for explaining audio compression, but I'm going to try and avoid that and instead show you a visual representation of how a compressor actually affects the waveform. Keep in mind that the visuals that you will see are only representative. Please do not assume them to be 100% accurate representations of the affected sound. The threshold and the ratio are the two most important parameters for any compressor. Working together, it is these two controls that will determine what parts of your audio signals are compressed and by how much. The threshold setting is the point at which waveform amplitude is high enough for the compressor to begin attenuating the signal. Anytime the amplitude passes the threshold, the wave will be attenuated at a rate determined by a factor of the ratio. Therefore, at a ratio of 2 to 1, for every dB the waveform extends beyond the threshold, the compressor will attenuate it by a factor of 2. A 4 to 1 ratio would take an output above the threshold of 4 dB and reduce it down to a total output of 1 dB. The resulting effect is a squishing of the amplitude variation in the waveform, or more directly, the waveform is compressed. The result of this compression is transient attenuation, which creates a noticeable drop in perceived volume. This brings us to our third crucial parameter for compressors, makeup gain. The makeup gain is another op amp that takes our total affected signal and turns it back up to match the original perceived volume. This, in turn, narrows the gap between the quieter sounds of our signal, which are being gained up, and the louder transients, which are being attenuated by the compressor. Attack and release are time variables that many compressors offer. The attack parameter dictates how quickly the compressor begins to attenuate the waveform. Slowing down the attack time of a compressor allows for the first moments of a transient signal to pass through the threshold before the compression begins to work. This is a common technique for maintaining some characteristics of dynamic range, which often is sacrificed to some extent when compressors are used. The release time variable is simply how long the compressor continues to attenuate the signal after the threshold has been breached. A fast release opens the compressor quickly following a transient creating the effect of the tail of the waveform being volumed up in comparison since it is not being attenuated but is still affected by the makeup gain. Slower releases, in contrast, push quiet signals down even further, leaving only the transients behind, resulting in a very punchy finished sound. The variety of compressors that exist all offer different tonal results and parameter options, but with a basic understanding of threshold, ratio, attack, release, and makeup gain, any of them can be controlled to maximize your mix.